Welcome once again. In this video we will see how to create landscape material and how to add some materials to landscape. So that it better resembles something that we see in the real world. But before you do this, you need to first set up some folders to organize the content that you create and migrate into your project. Start by creating a new folder called landscape in your project's content folder. Then inside the landscape folder, create the following three folders, materials, then resources, and lastly textures. When completed, you should have something that looks like the following. Now we will look for some landscape textures. Now that we have the folders in place, it is time to migrate some textures from the Landscape Mountains Learning Project so that we have some textures to work with. This project can be found under the Learn tab in the Epic Games Launcher. You can find the textures located in the following folder located in the Landscapes Content Example Project. Then, Game Then, Example Content Then, Landscapes Then, Textures. The textures that you will be migrating over from the Landscape Content Example Project are as follows. First TLS Grass 01D, second TLS Grass 01N, third T Full Grass D, fourth T Full Grass N, fifth T Ice Noise N. Once you have the textures migrated over, make sure they are placed in the Textures folder. Now start creating the landscape material. Creating a material for our landscape can be done in the following steps. Right click in the content browser and select material from the create basic asset list. Name the newly created material something that will allow you to easily find it, like landscape material for example. With our new landscape material created, open up the material by double clicking on it inside of the content browser. It is time to start adding nodes inside of the material editor. The first node that you are going to want to create is a Landscape Layer Chords UV node. This node will help to generate UV coordinates that will be used to map the landscape material to the landscape actor. The quickest way to find nodes specific to landscape is to search for them in the materials palette box using landscape as the keyword. The next material nodes that we are going to add are going to be for the textures for the ground's base color and normal maps. For the snow, we are just going to use a vector parameter, that's as, V plus left click. That uses an off white color. To make sure that no metallic information is used, a constant, that's as, 1 plus left click, of 0 is used and plugged into the metallic input. Finally, for the roughness, we set a scalar parameter, that's as, S plus left click, so that this value can be tweaked via a material instance. To add the texture sample nodes for the various textures, select the desired texture in the content browser and then press T plus left click in the material editor's graph to create the node. First, TLS Grass 01DD stands for diffused map. Second, T full grass D third, TLS Grass 01NN stands for normal map. Fourth, T full grass N and lastly, T ice noise N after the material nodes have been added and the landscape chords connected to the texture's UVs, it is time to add and set up the landscape layer blend node. The landscape layer blend node allows for the blending of layers via weight blending, height blending, or alpha blending. Weight blending uses each layer's painted weight to determine which to display. We use weight blending where we want two surfaces to blend seamlessly into each other, such as rock into sand. Height blending uses the same weight information along with an additional height value taken from the texture sample's alpha channel and is best used when one material needs to clearly sit on top of another, such as the grass and snow sitting on top of the soil layer. Finally, alpha blending uses the painted weight information with an alpha layer to determine the final result. The following table shows what textures are associated with which layer name and what blend type they use. When you first place down a landscape layer blend node, it will be blank like in the image below labeled 1. 
To add layers, you need to select the node in the material graph and then in the details panel. Click on the plus icon that is in between the word elements and the trash can icon. How many textures you are using will determine how many layers you will want to have. Now let's modify the layer blend base color first TLS grass 01D set layer name as soil. Blend type as weight blend. And preview weight as 1.0. Then T full grass D set layer name as grass blend type as height blend and preview weight as 0.0, and snow as a vector 3 set layer name as snow, blend type as height blend, and preview height as 0.0. Now let's modify the layer blend normal. First TLS grass 01N set layer name as soil, blend type as weight blend, and preview weight as 1.0, then T full grass N set layer name as grass blend type as height blend and preview height as 0.0, and lastly snow noise as a vector 3 set layer name as snow, blend type as weight blend, and preview weight as 0.0. Once the layer blend nodes have been set up, it is time to connect the texture maps to them. Height blended materials will have both a layer connection and a height connection to accommodate the need for the additional height information. Finally, Make sure that you connect the landscape cords to the UVs of each of the texture samples. When completed, your node network should look like this. Now let's see how to paint the landscape materials. With the landscape material created, it is time to apply the material to the landscape and begin using the paint tools. With the landscape material selected in the content browser, select the landscape in the world. Then in the details panel, Expand the landscape section and look for the landscape material input. Apply the material to the landscape using the use selected asset from the content browser arrow icon. You can also drag the material asset from the content browser to the details panel and drop it on the landscape material input. When completed, you should have something that looks like this. If you see black lines in your landscape, they come from having unbuilt lighting. If you rebuild your level's lighting, the black lines will go away. Now that the landscape material is applied, it is almost time to start painting but before we can do that, we must first create and assign three landscape layer info objects. If you try to paint before you assign the landscape layer info objects, you will get the following warning message. You need to create three landscape layer info objects, one for each texture that you want to paint. Here is how you do it. First, make sure that you are in landscape paint mode. Then in the landscape panel, under the target layers section, you should see three inputs labeled soil, grass, and snow. To the right of the names, there is a plus sign icon. Clicking that will bring up another menu that will ask what type of layer you would like to add. For this example, pick the weight blended layer, normal, option. When you select the weight blended layer, normal, option. You will be prompted with a pop-up box that is asking you where you want to save the newly created landscape layer info objects. Select the resources folder that is under the landscape folder and then press the OK button. Once you have completed the first one, repeat the same process for the other two. You should have something that looks like the following. Now with the landscape layer info objects created and applied, we can begin to paint our landscape. The main tool that you will use for applying textures to your landscape is going to be the paint tool. To apply a material to the landscape, press and hold the left mouse button to apply whatever you have selected to the area under the brush. To select a new texture to paint, make sure you are in landscape painting mode then under the target layer section, select which texture you want to paint with by clicking on it in the list. Whichever texture is highlighted will be painted on the landscape. In the image below, you can see the soil layer is highlighted meaning that this is the texture that will be painted to the landscape. When you first start painting on your landscape you might run into an issue where the base material disappears or turns black, like in the following picture. This happens when there is no paint layer data on the landscape when you first start to paint. To fix this issue, continue to paint over the landscape generating the paint layer data as you go. If you would like to fill in the entire landscape, 
first select a large brush size, like 8192.0. Pick a layer that you want to use as a base and paint over the entire landscape once. This will create paint layer data and allow you to continue to paint without anything turning black. Another issue that you might run into is that the scale of the textures on your landscape are either too big or too small. To fix this, open your landscape material and select the landscape chords node. With that node selected, adjust the mapping scale in the details panel and save the material. Once the material is recompiled, check the scale out in the viewport. If the scale is not to your liking, then repeat the processes above until you get the results you want. Here is a comparison between a mapping scale of 0.5 on the left and 5.0 on the right. Hope from this video, you will start to move into building in more advanced mechanics, in an easy to follow step by step approach, which will allow you to play around and build your own content, to eventually build your own game. Thanks, thanks a lot, see you in the next video.